Hey guys, so in a few days we'll be going on a trip with my family and we're going to do this sort of travel art vlog. So I'll be showing you guys some stuff that I'll be bringing to the trip. So let's get into the first bag which is the Muji backpack. I recently just bought this bag because I wanted something that isn't too big or too small to bring to the trip with me and I found this bag and bought it online. I love the design because uh, it's minimal and it's, it also fits the criteria that I searched for. Anyway, let's get into it. So we have two main compartments, a small one and the a small one at the front and the big one at the back. Let's see what's in here first. I don't really like to bring a lot of stuff, so I do try to limit the things that I put in my bag most of the times. So first we have a pack of tissues, some hand sanitizer because uh, there's still cockpit out there, a perfume spray by Bath and Body Works. A little pouch where I keep my meds, you can see, and another bag, tiny bag, and for all my other small things. So that's pretty much what's inside this compartment here. Moving on to the next one. So it opens up like that. As you can see, it's quite spacious and first thing, uh, we have this little tag here to put your name and I have a small makeup bag. Now, I don't really uh, do a lot of makeup. I do wear a little lip tint and other stuff to make myself presentable. Next, we have my wallet or my purse. And also, finally, we have this journal, which um, this is my first time that I will be doing a travel journal as well. And um, I haven't really done any. Last time I did it was uh, when I was a kid. So I wanted to start doing it again because I really miss it. So let's hope I have enough time to journal on the trip, which I highly doubt anyway but I will try to fill this book once I get back. And finally, we have this little compartment here, just like any other backpack to put your laptop or your, your iPad. And I'm not going to bring my iPad with me, but I'm gonna show you guys how it fits. So just like that. This is iPad Air 10.2 inch, and I think it fits just nice. So yeah. Moving on to uh, my travel art bag. So this bag is from Windsor and Newton and it's kind of old. As you can see from the faded writings on this. And yeah, I actually can't remember where I got it from and I really don't remember buying it. If I'm not mistaken, it was, I think it was a gift or some sort of a, a present from a friend. If it's a gift, thank you. I'm finally going to make full use of it. Anyway, let's see the exterior first. It has a little handle here and at the back, a compartment to hide your uh, strap in. You could either uh, use it as a sling bag or tie it around your waist. This bag originally came with a watercolor set as well and a palette and also a sketchbook but they are kind of old so maybe I'm going to buy a replacement for that. So this bag is separated into three sections. So this first section here has a zipper and it's really suitable for um, it's really suitable to put all your little stuff in that's uh, easy to fall out. Let's see what we have in here. Now, this, I really love this one. I, did, I found this online 
and it's a metal palette box to mix all your paints and it's really compact it also has a metal ring underneath underneath to secure your finger I'm also going to bring my gouache set and I actually haven't really used this because I usually use my Hini gouache set and I'm very excited to use this we also have some colored gel pens some uh, a pencil a sharpener a little pen knife a travel scissors which I usually use mainly for uh, journaling and eraser and lastly a paper clip this next section uh, I really love this part here because um, it is detachable so you could just um, take it out like that and it's also foldable and there are plenty of storage as well as you can see and this is where I store all my pencil colors and here we have a small water bottle and also some brushes we have few types of brushes um, I try to not bring a lot of brushes because most of the time I usually use the same kind of brush anyway yeah and that's it and last but not least we have this pocket here and it doesn't close like the other compartment so it's uh, really easy to grab whatever in here I am bringing a small watercolor pad and I decided not to bring a big one because this is going to be mostly a chill trip with my family and I'm mainly going to paint as a collection of memories so it's going to mostly be a uh, rough painting and I'm also going to uh, sketch more hence I am bringing this thin Dale Rami sketchbook and I've I've already filled in the pages and I'm planning to finish all the pages this year and that's pretty much it um, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of videos and a disclaimer I'm not an expert this is going to be my first experience of painting while traveling so I don't know what to expect but I'm excited so thank you for watching and see you next time bye oh and I'm, I also forgot I'm going to bring this little cute keychain that I uh, bought from Tiny Nuggies it's a wizard or a witch frog and I'm hanging um, I'm attaching it to this uh, hook so yeah